Welcome back to another EasyFirePits.com production. Today, we are taking a military surplus ammo can and turning it into a portable propane fire pit that you can connect, disconnect, take from party to party, campsite to campsite, and fire up on your command. As you can see, all of the components fit nicely into the actual ammo can for portability. We're using the EasyFirePits.com Basic CK Propane Tank Kit. We're swapping out the rubber hose for a stainless steel, more durable, flexible hose. A straight fitting instead of the angled female fitting because this is what's going to connect our quick connect disconnect to our burner mounting kit and air mixer which will be mounted horizontally in the ammo can. The individual parts we'll be using are an adjustable high pressure regulator, 12 foot stainless steel hose, quick connect, disconnect, straight male flare fitting, small air mixer, a four inch fully threaded pipe nipple, two threaded washers, and a marine grade stainless steel six inch log lighter. You'll also need a power drill, two crescent wrenches, channel lock grips, and a one inch brass step bit. We'll use a little bit of pea gravel to line the bottom of the pit and some lava rock to top it off and disperse the flames. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is drill a hole in the back to mount the burner. We're gonna do it a little lower than halfway so that we can fit the remaining parts inside when we're done and carried away. So let's go for it. So it's about halfway, let's say a little lower, right around there, just drill through. So now that we have the hole drilled to mount the burner, we're going to connect it to the mounting kit and run it through. First, we're going to use a little Teflon tape and wrap the four inch fully threaded nipple. Just take that. Wrap it once, two times, three times, and good. Then, Screw that right into the female coupling that's attached to the log lighter burner. And then, once you have that, apply our first threaded washer. Attach our second washer. All right, now that we have the mounting kit installed horizontally with the burner inside, we're gonna wrap this part with tape as well. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna also, before we apply the air mixer, we're gonna put some tape on this as well. and apply that. Now we're gonna take a quick connect male end and wrench that down to the air mixer. So 
So this connects in and out. And so with the quick connect, to be able to connect this to the hose, we're going to have to apply a flare fitting. You already taped that end. That's the only end that you actually need to tape. So we'll get that screwed into the back of the female end of the quick connect so we can attach the hose to it. Have quick connect and the fitting attached. Connect our hose. Real tight. So now we'll connect a regulator same fashion. Two wrenches, wrench down real tight. So that's the unit right there. And then ideally, just unplug. All right, but before we take it out and light it up, we're going to pack the entire bottom of the can up to the bottom of the burner with pea gravel. The tightly packed pea gravel is going to act as an anchor weighing down the bottom of the can so it doesn't flip over. It's also going to insulate the bottom of the can and take away any voids where propane can settle beneath the level of the burner and pond. Then we're just going to do one layer of decorative lava rock over the top of the burner, just enough to hide it all so it disperses the flames evenly. Keeps a nice flame going continuously throughout your burn time. After that, we'll pack her up and light it up. So now we're going to connect the high pressure regulator to the inside threads of the tank via its reverse threads which are lefty tighty righty loosey. Now we'll take our ammo can and our female end of the quick connect attached to the hose and regulator and plug that into the back of the ammo can with the male quick connect and we're all set. Now have your click torch lighter ready, turn on the gas ever so slightly, and light it up. Go back to the regulator and adjust accordingly to your desired flame height. Man, it's pretty cool. Works like a charm, but uh, I think there's still some final touches that need to be done. I mean, come on, we had to give it an army green color. It just wouldn't feel right if it wasn't army green.
And of course, we had to put the Easy Fire Pits seal of approval on there. Which didn't come out great for his try, but hey, all's fair in fire and war, right? Ah, there we go. Much better. Well, there you have it. Military surplus ammo can turn portable propane fire pit ready to burn, pack up and go as you please from party to party and campsite to campsite. Be safe out there and remember easyfirepits.com.